Five people have been killed during the aerial delivery of humanitarian aid sent to the Gaza Strip, CNN reported with reference to eyewitnesses. The cargo was dropped from the plane in the area of the Al Shadi camp where the refugees were located. Heavy boxes containing aid fell on people gathered in the area as the parachute delivering the cargo did not open. Two people died instantly after sustaining serious injuries, while three others died in a hospital. Over 10 people were injured during the incident. Some of them are in serious condition. It should be noted that the United States and a number of other countries are carrying out airdrop of humanitarian aid to Gaza where there is a shortage of food. The United States air dropped first aid last Saturday. It hasn't been reported yet which country was airdropping aid when the deadly incident took place. According to some sources, the aid was dropped from a U.S. plane. Israel strikes deep inside Lebanon, stating it targeted Hezbollah positions. Israel's military has said it launched airstrikes deep into Lebanese territory, stating it targeted Hezbollah positions north of Beirut amid escalating exchanges between the two sides. The Lebanese militia reportedly retaliated with a barrage of rocket fire. The industrial defense forces announced several air operations in Lebanon, noting that warplanes had struck sites used by Hezbollah around the Bika Valley in the country's northeast. Three strikes hit the village of Bude, around 55 kilometers northeast of the capital Beirut, and targeted a Hezbollah truck convoy, unnamed Lebanese security sources told the Associated Press. A Hezbollah official who spoke to the agency on condition of anonymity said that at least two fighters were killed in the strikes, adding that an Israeli munition had struck a food storage warehouse used for civilian purposes. Another unnamed Lebanese official added that a Lebanese army regular was also seriously wounded in the raid and noted that the soldier's son had also sustained injuries without elaborating. The militia group later said it responded by firing 60 Katyusha rockets toward an Israeli army command center in the occupied Golan Heights, which Israel seized following a six-day war of 1967. The strikes on Bude came after both Hezbollah and the Israel Defense Forces reported that an Israeli drone was shot down by a militia surface-to-air missile, with Israel's military stating that the UAV fell into Lebanese territory. Hezbollah identified the drone as an Israeli Elbit Hermes 450, typically used for surveillance and reconnaissance. While cross-border clashes have occurred between the armed faction and Israeli troops since the war in Gaza began last year, Israel Defense Forces operations have plunged deeper into Lebanese territory in recent weeks. The group says it will stop its attacks on Israel after a ceasefire is reached in Gaza. More than 200 Hezbollah fighters have been killed in the latest flare-up. 
Hezbollah Deputy Chief Sheikh Naim Qassem vowed further retaliation and boasted of the group's significant arsenal, saying, If the Israelis go too far, we will retaliate more. All what we have used until now in the fighting is the minimum of what we own.